from 2G, 3G, um, 2D or 3G, to your MacBook or Windows computer. Um, I heard you can do this for Linux too. I've never used Linux, so um, I, I'm, I don't know how to do that. But for Windows and Mac, it's almost exactly the same on how to do it. Um, so first off, you need to have a jailbroken iPhone. Um, and, um, and then what you need to do is scroll up to Wi-Fi, create a network just to start off. I named mine iPhone. Uh, just leave it on channel automatic, require a password, your choice. So, um, create a computer to computer network. That's all you need to do. Um, then, this is the website I used. It's called iClarify.com. Um, I will post the link to this exact entry in the video description. So, um, if you need any clarifying of any details that I, that I, uh, I'm telling you, just go to there. Or if you want, you can just not watch this video and go through there. But I would think it would be a little more helpful to watch it as someone's doing it. So first off, you need to download 3Proxy from Cydia. Um, I just went into search and typed in 3Proxy, popped up right away, downloaded it, took like 30 seconds. Then, then you need to go to... Um, so there it is, networking free proxy. Um, then, let me see, what, I'm trying to remember what it was called, terminal support. Uh, then you go to uh, sections, terminal support, and you need to download mobile terminal. Um, now that, I, and since I've downloaded already, I can't find, I can't, it won't show up again on here unless I go into manage. But um, you need to download mobile ter terminal right here, and then, Download that, install it. After installing it, make sure you restart your iPhone. Um, if you have um, another, I can't remember what the app's called, but when you reboot your iPhone, I've heard that wipes the jailbreak away. Most jailbroken iPhones won't um, wipe after you restart it. So just to be safe, uh, or not, I don't know. I just restarted it, and it worked fine. So. Do that, and an app um, called Terminal will pop up right there, exactly the same as the Terminal app on the iPhone. All you need to do is open the Terminal app right there, and as it loads, there you go. Looks the same as the Terminal on your MacBook. It can go into Landscape too if you feel like typing like that. All you have to do is type in socks like that. Very simple, and then you hit return and that's all and then now you need to, what you need to do is go into settings boom settings and then turn on Wi-Fi um, don't use your standard Wi-Fi that you connect to um, this is why uh, I said you needed to create that network called iPhone and you hit OK when you create the network and you'll see a little different icon that's the ad hoc network. And shortly you'll see the iPhone network pop up on the um, on this. So then you click on the iPhone network and you hit the little blue arrow and it opens up what the IP address is and everything. So hit IP address. Uh, the IP address isn't showing up. I'm just uh, completely far up on the machine. I don't know what's going on. Maybe it's the same All right, so you write down your IP address. Um, mine is that. Um, and then what you need to do is you need to write that down. And then go into, I would recommend using a different browser than you generally do, like Firefox, or if you use Firefox, use Safari. Go into Preferences and open up. So once you're in preferences, go to network. Um, so I'm using fire. I'm doing this in Firefox. Um, I'm guessing it's exactly the same on Safari. But um, if you have any problems, just tell me, and I'll try and figure it out. So as you see, I've done already. I wrote it's put in socks. I put in the IP address, and you have to change the port down here to 1080. So once you do that, you 
opposite, okay? And then that's all done. So now you need to type in and hang over. I think there's about configuration up there. And it'll tell you that you may do void and a warranty, and then you say, okay, I'll be careful. Oh, why is this taking so long? Oh, you know what? I don't have 3G on. Hang on. Okay. So we're about config configuration. Oh, haha. Ha. I did that in Safari actually. Avoid your warranty. It says show this warning off. So I'm going to uncheck that. I'll be careful, I promise. There we go. And then see the filter right here? All you do is you type in socks. And then you'll see network.proxysocks or mode uh, underscore DNS. User set Boolean. And yours will say false um, without doing it. So all you have to do is you double click on that and it'll change it to true. Then after that, I'll use put Firefox to Firefox and then open Firefox again. It should work. That's booting up. And see, so my iPhone is rumbling up right now. Um, Go Firefox. Okay. And let's see if this works. And it did. So let's try. So as you can see, I can still use my iPhone however I want. It's still working. 3G is on. Um so I'll type in And it's going, and it it can it says down here. Okay, I'm not now. I'm not. Let's hang on. Okay, so there's YouTube. So let's try watching a video. So how about Jake and Amir from College Humor? Let's do see how long it takes to buffer something like this. So I'll pause it, let it render and whatnot for a few seconds. I don't know how much faster something like this would run through Safari. Feel free to have a debate over what's better, Safari or Firefox, down in the comment box. Um, I prefer Safari generally. Firefox All right, we're here with so. Sarah Snyder, and she is an actress and a writer. Seems fine. The video quality isn't the best just because it's running through 3G. So, um, that is all. So, the website, or I clarified, the uh, specific entry will be in the title description or the video description over. I think it's that way for you. I think it's that way for you. So. Um, that is all. If you have any questions, just um, post a comment. I do check all my comments, and you can PM me if you want. I'd prefer if you just get a comment, um, because sometimes when I get uh, private messages, I delete them, but it still says I have one, so it's kind of annoying. So, thanks. That's all.